in this video. Our technical analysis for the Bitcoin prices played out exactly as predicted. But take a look at this, guys. Right now, we are seeing a lot of buy volume within the 4-hour time frame. And we are also going to debunk the Adam and Eve pattern in today's video. Well, stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So now let's dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So diba sa ating previous video, sabi ko sa inyo muna, huwag kayo mag-enter ng panibagong trade not until we see this next indicator forming. So diba sabi ko sa inyo, Bitcoin is dumping but I'll be waiting for this next indicator to form which is a declining price while the RSI is increasing kasi those are traditional signs of a bullish trend reversal patterns. And the moment na makikita tayo ng bullish reversal signals, saka tayo mag-enter ng trade, di ba yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, huwag kayo mag-enter, not unless we see that indicator forming. And thankfully, nakita natin siya kanina umaga mag-form. And of course, sinigdal ko siya actually sa ating Facebook, Telegram, and Discord group. Take a look at this. We actually started forming that bullish divergence we're in. That price was declining. The RSI was increasing. So that is a traditional sign of a bullish trend reversal. And look at that, guys. We played that movement exactly as predicted. So congratulations, guys. If you have traded that latest movement. But right now, what is next for the Bitcoin price action? So as you can see, the bullish divergence started playing out. And technically, my initial target was around the 19.2K, which has now met actually exactly. But I think kagandahan, we actually see a lot of buy volume after coming in within that price action. But I think right now, this is what we have to monitor next dito kay Bitcoin price action. Let's try to zoom out dito kasi look at this. Right now, there are still no signs of a bullish or bearish reversal dito. But for now, nag-take na ako ng profit within my latest trade. And take note, in latest trade na ginawa ko actually, inopen ko yan guys dito sa ating Bybit Copy Trade. You can actually find my copy trade dito sa ating bybitglobal.com slash copy trade or you can actually type bybit.com ayun, bybit.com slash copy trade and lalabas na yung lahat yung mga copy trade dito sa ating bybit page and as you can see, andito ako under Gabs Crypto so yun yung aking bybit account or ito actually yung aking bybit copy trade page so ayun yung Gabs Crypto or you can actually just search it by typing in Gabs Crypto dito sa ating copy trade page and yan yung aking copy trade account. So if you want to take advantage or if you want to join with my latest trades, siguro, ano lang, mga very short trades lang siya, not not much of a big trade. Siguro if from time to time nag-trade ako dito, you can actually join dito sa Bybit. And if wala pa kayo account with Bybit, just use my sign-up link na you can find the description down below. And you can also claim up to 3,000 US dollars bonus if you're going to sign up with Bybit. As long as you're going to sign up with my sign-up link na you can find in the description down below. But... Balik tayo dito sa ating Bitcoin price action and let's try to give you the next update. So as you can see right now, we are actually forming two type of resistance dito kay Bitcoin. So yung ating main resistance na nag-form is actually 21.2k which is this area. So I think right now, there are no signs of a bullish or bearish reversal for the time being but all we know is it's a take profit area for the short term. And look at that, we our next resistance is actually forming around the 21.2k which has actually been a very strong resistance area dito kay Bitcoin. So right now, that is what I am going to monitor, which is that resistance. So right now, wala na akong trade na close na trade ko. And on top of that, if you're going to look at the 4-hour time frame, look at that. We are seeing a lot of buy volume dito kay Bitcoin. Look at that. We are seeing a lot of buy volume. And that could be potentially indicating that there are more buyers than sellers within the crypto market. And as what I've been telling you, I've been buying ever since the past 4 to 5 months Ilang beses ko na sasabihin sa inyo na I've been buying Bitcoin. I've been buying what everyone is selling. And it doesn't matter kung anong price tayo bibili kasi it's actually for the long term. And remember, bull markets can make you money but bear market can make you rich. And right now, this is actually a very big opportunity kasi of course, not only the crypto market yung bagsak but as well as the whole global market nasa global recession tayo. So it's actually a very good investment opportunity for the long term. And as you can see, we are seeing a lot of buy volume. So that could be indicating that right now, we are seeing a lot of buyers than seller within the crypto market. So right now, we are seeing a lot of buyers. But for the short term, we still don't have any quite movement ngayon dito with the Bitcoin price action. I think the best thing that you can do is to wait this one out. But right now, we have a resistance forming within the 21.2K. 
So right now, that is what I am going to monitor clearly. And I think you can now actually start forming a support area dito kay Bitcoin. So as you can see, we can actually start forming a support area dito. So that could be a potential support area. In this case, if let's say we are going to see a possible symmetric triangle forming, then that could be a potential move then kay Bitcoin. So right now, that is what I am going to monitor, which is this potential symmetric triangle that we can form within the midterm. I think you can clearly see this in the 4-hour time frame. So yeah, it's clear this 4-hour time frame. So right now, that is what I'm going to monitor within the Bitcoin price action, which is the resistance of around the 21.2k, as well as this potential ascending triangle actually in the 4-hour time frame. Next, gusto ko din actually pag-usapan yung Adam and Eve pattern na marami nagkasabi dito sa ating buong crypto market. Kasi recently, nag-form tayo ng panibagong pattern, which is an Adam and Eve pattern that we're in. We are seeing that left top na consistent siya na parang straight na triangle. And then after that, nakakita tayo ng secondary test na ating previous high, then saka tayo pumunta sa baba, and then saka natin siya baba break to the downside. So, basically, nakita tayo ng ganun type of movement within the Bitcoin price action, which is ito. Oh. Ito yung mga sinasabi nila na nakita tayo ng recent na Adam and Eve pattern. As you can see, we have here a neckline forming, and then ayun yung sinasabi nilang Adam and Eve pattern, which is this one. Meron tayong steep na triangle, and then after that, we saw a retest na ating previous high, saka tayo bumaba. But first, let's try to define what is an Adam and Eve pattern. So according to Google, it is a type of double bottom chart. And price action usually compresses into a tight trading range after both types of bottoms. So, so in layman's term, ang definition nito is a reversal signal pattern. So in this case, for example, yung movement natin is bullish. At the same time, nag-form tayo ng ating Adam and Eve pattern. That is going to indicate a bearish pattern or a, or a bearish reversal signal. So in that case, that is a reversal signal. On the other hand, if we are on a bearish movement and then nag-form tayo ng Adam and Eve pattern, that's going to be considered as a reversal pattern to the upside. And in that case, in this sense, it's actually a type of a double bottom pattern or a double top. It's actually a variation of a double top or double bottom pattern. And in this case, as you can see, Ito yung mga sinasabi na na nag-form tayo ng double top within the Bitcoin price action or a Adam and Eve pattern. And as you can see, is the latest Adam and Eve pattern valid? Well, let's try to debunk this. So as you can see, right now we are actually seeing a Adam and Eve pattern on a bigger downtrend. So diba, ang definition ng Adam and Eve pattern is a reversal pattern. So you could somehow say na this was a reversal pattern, but as you can see, if you are going to look at the overall general trend, we are on a downtrend. So, forming an Adam and Eve pattern na paganyan during a downtrend na double top, I think that is somewhat invalid if you're going to ask me. But if you are going to take into account this latest movement, yung latest upside or yung latest bullish at recent movement to Bitcoin, then ito, yung ating latest movement tayo, yung umakit siya, then I think yung ganyan latest movement na ganyan, Doon lang valid yung Adam and Eve pattern na yan for the very short term. But I don't think na it's going to be a massive effect when it comes to this latest movement. Kasi as you can see, traditionally, Adam and Eve pattern are a reversal signal. I don't think that that was a very big rally for me to consider this as an Adam and Eve pattern. Siguro, some people who are trading for the minute time frame or five minute time frame, those people would say na that is an Adam and Eve pattern. In that case, then yes, you can, we can consider that as an Adam and Eve pattern for the very short term, for short term traders. But when it comes to long term traders or mid term traders, or let's say for our time pain traders, I think it's somewhat 50 50 to say that is a bearish reversal pattern. So, because some people are saying right now na if this is an Adam and Eve pattern, then we are going to see much more movement to the downside. Well, in this case, I think for me, this is more of an invalid analysis because look at this. Adam and Eve pattern usually happens on a trend reversal patterns. And that's what you are currently seeing. This is not a trend reversal. Rather, we are more likely seeing more of a continuation in this case. So for me, this is more likely invalid. But if let's say you are just trading for the short term, then of course, 15 minute time frame, this is valid for the 15 minute trend time frame traders. Because of course, you can see we came from an uptrend and saka tayo nakita ng Adam and Eve pattern. But overall, in general sentiment natin dito, Adam and Eve pattern should happen on a trend reversal indicator and it's not on a continuation. In this case, if you're going to say na meron tayong Adam and Eve pattern on a continuation trend, then I think that is somewhat invalid talaga. But ayun guys, thoughts ko lang naman yun when it comes to an Adam and Eve pattern. It should be a trend reversal pattern rather than a continuation pattern on what we are currently seeing. But anyway guys, yun yung aking observation lang. 
And siguro yun lang muna update natin for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.